is coming out that I think is going to be really cool, and that is the Powers TV show. Now, this is going to be on PlayStation Network. Uh, it's the first jump of theirs into the realm of, like, the Netflix, the Amazon, making their own original programming that you could only find on their specific network. And this Powers, if you haven't heard of it, it is a comic book. It was started back in 2000, um, was first run by... Uh, Image Comics, before that got absorbed into Icon, which is a Marvel comic brand. But yeah, so it's still running, 2000 plus, you know. So, But the cool thing about this, this show is I love the idea. I think it's the perfect... 10 episode story arc that you could get because what it, it it features characters in an ordinary world but it's not so uncommon for people to have superpowers so you have a lot of these superhumans running around it's not quite like the universes of like Marvel and DC where it's more unique to have for somebody who have powers so it's a little less out of the ordinary and they've adapted it's to this really society. unique in those either though like they always still treat it like oh superpowers guy but there's so many people that it kind of loses its charm after a while, and even well, some of in the Marvel uh, in Marvel and DC, you're talking play. maybe maybe thousands of characters have superpowers, but there's billions of people of us on this world, so I think it's a little bit bigger of a ratio with powers. But powers really focuses on two detectives, um, and these guys are part of a special police force that uh, actually investigates power crime. So they call the people with powers people just powers, um, and so these guys go around investigating crimes, and it's going to be pretty cool. Um, a really cool actor, uh, Charlito Copley, uh, you might know him from District 9, or he was actually in Elysium as well, played a really cool bad guy in that movie, actually, and probably my favorite role from him, which is so underrated, and I don't know why people hate on this movie, but the A-Team, that was a solid movie, and this is the guy who played the crazy guy in that one, the pilot, so I really liked him as an actor. Thought he did very well. Um, and then you also have Eddie Izzard. Uh, he's in a bunch of the Oceans movies. The Riches was a TV show he's in. He's been in a bunch of different projects. So you'll have a lot of cool actors actually already signed on to do this. Um, but it, it's just it's just going to be a take on the superheroes that you haven't really seen. Usually superhero shows or movies take from the vantage point of people with superpowers. This one's going to kind of be on the vantage point of people without superpowers trying to corral those superpowered people. So would also be kind of like the opposite of the uh, uh, close I can think of would be the opposite of like the X Men setup where you'd have like the government agents trying to round up the mutants. Yeah, kind of, but they're not trying to they're not trying to round up people with powers. They're just trying to you know make sure that they are good citizens, not just running around doing whatever the hell they want. And it's hmm. kind of like it's kind of like his police division That's is like the SVU division. It's a special division just to investigate these special cases. They don't necessarily happen that often because in a world with a, with a lot of people with superpowers, of course you have your superheroes and you have your supervillains. And one of the things is that the lead detective in this show actually used to be a really really popular superhero and then somehow lost his powers in a fight. So the only way he can continue to fight crime is that he it becomes a detective. So that's that sounds pretty cool. And one of the story arcs, I was reading a couple of their story arcs, and it seems like this comic series really is good at breaking it down into, okay, seven comics is going to tell this story. You know, here, there's one or two standalone episodic comics, and then we're going to tell another big story. So it's pretty cool how they do that. But um, So the first case is actually the investigation of a famous costume person called Retro Girl, um, who's mysteriously murdered. Now, she was one of the most famous superheroes, and they use famous because these guys are kind of like celebrities in this world. Um, and she did, she gets murdered, and they have to go out and find out who murdered her. But I just think it's going to be a really cool, gritty take on the whole superhero genre. Something, something that we haven't seen, but we're starting to see more of. Yeah, and you're saying this is coming to, to PlayStation? PlayStation Network, yeah. So that's another cool part of this, is that PlayStation is jumping into the ring with, you know, the Netflixes, the Amazons, and all them, and and throwing out their own original programming to, yeah. you know... Kind and, of and just in general, we're now seeing pretty much every streaming service making their own stuff. Because, I mean, PlayStation has had its own television streaming service for a while. Like, I know it's there. I haven't really used it. I don't know very many people that have. But if even they're jumping into making original content... Well, I, I don't know what's, what we can say. It, it just seems like... Uh, 
I think this is a a little bit to catch up with Xbox, because remember Xbox announced a slate of six TV shows. Now, a lot of those got canceled, but um, they still have a Halo TV series. Yeah, but some of those just tie-ins with games anyway, right? Some of them were, but, like, the Halo series is still coming out. So they're really trying to just compete on that level, which I find interesting. Don't get me wrong. Uh, It's it's a double-edged sword. You know, I love getting all these different TV shows, and they can make them, you know, more specially tailored to the people who play those video games, which, you know, me and you're on that system. So, okay, what what does our demographic want to see? And this is it. So I do enjoy that, but, you know, it's too many places to get too many good stuff, you know. That's somewhat true, but at least for me, and I think for you too, where do you watch most of your streaming uh, services? On my on my Xbox. Yeah, and I, I watch most of them on my on the PS3 or on the on the Wii U. Um, if they same system, you know, adds extra stuff. If I if they make it accessible, that's fine. Like actually, Nintendo did a good job with that. I think PlayStation and Xbox started rolling that out too of um, having the ability to just kind of conglomerate all shows into one application. Uh, like, Nintendo TV can do that. Like, I can have all my uh, Netflix and Amazon Prime and Hulu and cable TV library in one location and just select which one I want to play whatever from. Which is, um, which is, that's not what I'm complaining. That's not what I'm worried about, because you're right. They do a very good job of consolidating a lot of these into one place. What I'm worried about is going to be, you know, I'm going to have to pay $8 for this network because I want to watch this one show, or $7 a month for this network because I want to watch that one show, or, you know, and then it's going to end up I'm paying, like, $200 a month to watch just the shows I want. Or, or you're back at the same price that you had when you were paying for cable, but cable. now you get to uh, fast forward and rewind for free. Well, I guess that is a bonus, and you get to start and stop well, when you want. Is so. power going to cost anything? Um, I think it's going to be free with your PlayStation Plus. So, kind of, gonna cost, kind of. Yeah, I mean, it, it's going to be a bonus to the PlayStation yeah. Plus if you've already had it. So, because now I, that I do I think, think it's it, really cool, though. Yeah, now that I think of it, I actually um did w- used to watch another PlayStation show uh, a few years back on the. PS3, they had the, uh, like kind of a reality show called The Tester, and you know I was just getting into working professionally as a software tester, so I watched it. It was pretty fun, and that was also free. I'll just download it to my PS3. Um, so I guess I have seen something on the PlayStation. That's the only thing I can think of. But, but yeah, but that's not quite what we're talking about. Not, not yeah, quite this is now them series. doing their own like yeah. you know fictional universe and. All a pretty elaborate project here. They're really stepping the game up. Well, and like I said, this Powers universe, I really am interested in that. It's not. I, I actually, when I read the story that they were going to come out with the show in December, was the first time I had really heard about that universe. And so jumping into doing some research on it, I, I it just really seemed like something that I wanted to watch. And they're bringing the right actors. Like I see that the uh, Charlito, uh, he's a really really cool actor in all the movies I've seen him in at least. So. I'm looking forward to it. But, you know, let us know what you guys think. Uh, are you looking forward to the show? Is this going to be stupid? I mean, I can't imagine you'd say it's going to be stupid. Just agree with me. Comments down below. <laughs> eh, you know, come on. I'm all you ever need to do. Agree with us. No, you can disagree with us sometimes. But on this, I think you're going to agree with us, folks. I think this is going to be solid. I'm giving it my Brian stamp of approval. That That's that's my stamp. Is just my hand. I don't have to <laughs> Didn't have to do that, man. But yeah. So hit us up. Hey, where's my face? On Twitter and stuff. I don't even want to go through it. No, I'm just joking. Hit us up. Comments down below, of course. You don't always have to agree with me. I just know you want to. That's that's all I'm saying. Okay.